God pardon thee. Yet let me wonder, Harry, at thy affections, which do hold a wing quite from the flight of all thy ancestors. Thy place in council thou hast rudely lost, which by thy younger brother is supplied, and art almost an alien to the hearts of all the court and princes of my blood. The hope and expectation of thy time is ruined, and the soul of every man prophetically doth forethink thy fall. Had I so lavish of my presence been, so common hackneyed in the eyes of men, so stale and cheap to vulgar company opinion that did help me to the crown, had still kept loyal to possession and left me in reputless banishment, a fellow of no mark nor likelihood. By being seldom seen, I could not stir, but like a comet, I was wondered at. That men would tell their children, this is he. Others would say, where, which is Bolingbroke? And then I stole all courtesy from heaven and dressed myself in such humility that I did pluck allegiance from men's hearts, loud shouts and salutations from their mouths, even in the presence of the crowned king. Thus did I keep my person fresh and new, my presence like a robe pontifical, ne'er seen but wondered at, and so my state, seldom but sumptuous, showed like a feast, and won by rareness such solemnity.'